Hello, Hong Kong. Hello. Uh, we are from Design Alliance Asia. In this amazing opportunity, I would like to share my study about the phenomenon in cultural and heritage in Indonesia, also life and rituals toward fast-moving world that we are living in. As we all know, the world has changed very rapidly. It is true that industrialization play an important role in this changing. Furthermore, it has led some business, businesses, design people, change their mind while they are creating the products. But the idea of industrialization itself might have no great impact some areas in Asia, while it worked perfectly in most developed countries in the West. In many Asian specialty, especially in South of Asia countries, handmade things have its sacred soul and the human touch. A lot of craftsmanship process is also part of the cultural ritual activities. It is not just all about making products. Natural colors, wicker, woven, axis in many countries in Asia. Natural colors, woven wicker, scarfing, very strong identity in Southeast Asia. In this presentation, I would like to tell you on how to seize the Asian market understanding the true color of Asia, especially in Southeast Asia and Indonesia. We are now moving forward from green and, and environment movement. Now, slow colors and slow design become new paradigm on creativity philosophy. Slowness is progressive resolutions. Slowness is progressive revolution, a philosophy that optimizes both advantage of technology and pleasure of reflection. It finds new resources, new energy, and efficiency unexpectedly in slowing down. Slowness process, like colors, weaker, waving, carving, become new way in design thinking, with unique character of Southeast Asia design, emphasize or semi-mass product in craft focus on design. Slow colors. Slow colors because making colors from nature, natural dyes, This is how to making colors from natural. Natural indigo, the oldest dyeing method in the world. Slow design. We need more to craft and detail to make something products. Slowness in progress, slowness in process, colors, wicker, weaving, and carving become trend in design. This is our friend works, very young talent design from Bandung. This is rattan, furniture rattan, should be made by hand. This is also done by a young designer from Indonesia. This is rattan materials. 
also you cannot mass product because should be uh, manufactured by hand. Rattan, new approach of furniture. This is textile, traditions textile Indonesia in modern way. It's woven actually as part of home decorations, as part of home accessories. And respect and celebrating on process making. Now, slow fashions. What is slow fashions? The fabric is made by woven. Of course, batik. Batik, there is two types of batik. Batik hand paint and batik stem. Should be take a long time to make a batik, to become fashions. But this is still ready to wear uh, fashions. Very beautiful crafting textile. Semi-productions. Slow architectures. You have to put some detail on every corner of the architectures. Was done by my friend in Jakarta. Now real estate it's become very unique on every house, different with ten years ago. If you buy something from real estate or housings in the same same building now, on every house, different design. It's like similar, but if you take a look in detail on every corner, it's, it's very detailed and, and very delicate design. Uh, back to Indonesia. I would like to tell about my country and, and about the colors. Indonesia uh, consists 17,000 islands. The population is 240 million people. On every ethnic, their own identities develop over the countries, influenced by Indian, Arabic, Chinese, and European sources. In Indonesia, they have multi meaning in color perception, divided by 600 ethnic, which color are depend on communities' perceptions. Natural pigment also give influence, influence meaning, but the common color perception will be shown in this slide. This is uh, in Indonesia, we have uh, five big islands, which are Java, Sumatra, Borneo, Kalimantan. Borneo is Kalimantan, Sulawesi, and Papua. Sumatra, in this case, has very strong influence from Malay, from Malay culture, with red and gold as a dominant color on textile architectures. Also, for another example, you can also find textile applied in Batak ethnic ritual in North Sumatra. The next in this slide is Java Island. Java Island is the most dense populated area in Indonesia. It's great Java to have largest ethnic differences in Indonesia. In Java, there is three regions can divide the Batik, Batik Lasem, Batik Pekalongan, Batik Surakarta. Lasem is more red, and then chicken blood red, 
Pekalongan is blue color and Surakarta is brown soga. This is Borneo or Kalimantan. On the other side of Indonesia, in this Borneo and Sulawesi, have strong multicolors, influence on textile and architectures to represent their traditions and their perception on life itself. Also, the Sulawesi almost the same with the Borneo, multicolors. And the Papua color is based on dominant natural pigment, common color perceptions. This is, for example, like a previous uh, speakers, green color is of meaning is more Islam. Yellow, coconut leaves, janurs, this is expression of the wedding ceremony, the yellow, and then this yellow actually is sign of death. Uh, the next is pollen cloth, it's black and white. It's, it's the same with yin yang, it's balance, you can found in Bali. This is uh, black and white in Badui. In Badui, there is tribe Badui in uh, West Java. It's uh, in Sundanese area. The Badui separated two groups. Inner Badui is more white. And then outer Badui is black. This is Melasti ceremony in, in Bali. White cloth on funeral ceremony in Ngaben in Bali. Colorful, multicolor in Toraja, Sulawesi. Multicolor in Toraja, Tana Toraja, Sulawesi. Dayak tribe in Borneo, Lamin House. In Java, is Java Ponorogo, Reog Mask Dance. Nias War Dance. Tandak Sinten. Tandak Sinten in Japanese culture tradition is touching ground ceremony on seven color porridge held for the child aged seven to eight months. The seven color porridge is red, is bold, white is purity, green is universe, blue is sky, yellow is light, orange is sun, brown is earth. General meaning of the seven colors are symbol of life that the child will pass. Seven color porridge are prepared from dark to light colors, illustrate that the child will face some problems from the hardest to the easiest. This is marriage certificate. So the conclusions. Designer in South East of Asia must promote a superior value of slow design that turn the machine off and instead offer the comfort that comes from being in touch with the environment in a way that enhance the quality of individual experience and wellness. Slow color and slow design really appropriate for Indonesia and any Asian countries with a long tradition of craft and skills. Thank you. <laughs>